Exciting news in the world of video switchers. Uh, Blackmagic Design has made some pretty significant updates here to their line of ATEM switchers. So let's just walk through. They get this product page here that kind of explores the, the whole line of all the switchers. I think a lot of these switchers are great for different churches, different size, di different uh, needs that a church may had, have in their video switching system uh, for their live stream. Um, so let's start at the top of the list here. We obviously have the ATEM Mini, the Mini Pro, the Mini Pro ISO, then the Extreme, and then the Extreme ISO. And then, this is the new one. Yet actually, we even have the little signs right here. It says it's new. The ATEM 1ME Constellation HD, ATEM 2ME Constellation HD, and ATEM 4ME Constellation HD. These ones are probably the ones I'm the most excited about, specifically for a small to mid-sized church environment that wants to kind of up their game with a video switching system. Um, because we have made the recommendation a lot for folks to check out the A10 Mini or Mini Pro when you're using software like ProPresenter to stream for your service and you want to get some camera angles into ProPresenter to send online. In my personal opinion, I've never been too pumped about the A10 Mini Extreme and Mini Extreme ISO. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know what your opinion is there, Adam, but to me, I'm like, I'd rather have, well, what we used to use was the Television Studio HD, which now mm -hmm. this is this is kind of the updated version of that, and it has all the things that we would want uh, that's pretty much within a, an A10 Mini Extreme, like the USB feature for a webcam feature, just some of these nice conveniences. They finally put that tech in this rack-mountable, compact, switcher device. So I'm pretty pumped about this. I feel like the the kind of like sweet spot of, of video switching capability would be getting one of these. It gets you up to 10 inputs, which is plenty for most churches need about four to five cameras, maybe have another two to four available inputs for your um, uh, pro presenter machine for lyrics and, and backgrounds and all that stuff or videos. Uh, you know, this this switcher would combine with like a stream deck to actually be your physical controller on your workstation. I think it's a pretty great setup. So what are yeah. your thoughts? Yeah. The first thing I noticed about this was, well, two of the first things was like the USB output, like that's new to this size, you know, and then all SDI, like there's no HDMI. The television studio HD had four HDMI inputs on it. And if you're in a, complete SDI, you know, setup, then, you know, you have to convert them back to SD or back to HDMI from SDI to plug it in. So if you're running all of your cameras over SDI, you don't have to worry about extra converters. Um, same thing with the multi-view. There's only SDI multi-view. There's no HDMI on any of this, um, which I prefer because then you, you have more flexibility. You can run it longer. You kind of in the same ecosystem. I agree. I think it really reduced the amount of, of converters we'll have to use, maybe in some ways. I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. It might have increased it in some cases, but for the most part, I think it reduced it because a lot of your cameras are coming from longer distances already. Um, I think these, especially this switcher, if you paired it with the, the new studio uh, 4K cameras that they have that do have dedicated SDI outputs, and then it's like, man, you're you're just running all the SCI runs. So that's just very convenient. It's really yeah. annoying to have to deal with all these different converters and such. Yeah, so looking at the back of this device here, you've got the USB-C port now, which is great because um, not that personally I would have to use this in this way that often. We use um, BoxCast or you can use Resi as your encoder. I still would recommend doing that. But for some people, maybe you just want to, you know, send your feed into something like Wirecast or OBS, even though I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of those software encoders yeah. out there because they're, they're just the quality's not great. But you could, or you know, any application, even on uh, Zoom or something, right? Like you could, you could produce the ma majority of your service going into your switcher here, cameras and in displays and lyrics, and then you could plug the switcher into the computer running Zoom. A lot of churches are like, hey, how do I get a good stream on Zoom? Like, well, this this makes it, you know. Pretty, a pretty convenient way to do it without having to buy an additional 
um, video capture device. So basically they've integrated that video to capture device inside the switcher. And then, yeah, like you said, it's all SDI, nice and clean here. Um, you've got the control port for your network, so you can control this switcher from the ATEM control software. Um, you can get a stream deck, like I said, if you want a nice desktop mountable control surface. We really like that setup. Um, and then you've got your audio inputs on the right here. The, I wish this was XLR. I wish I wish they would. Yeah. That's the one thing. If I could change something that was different on this, it's like, uh, why couldn't they just put some, you know, balanced XLR inputs here? But it's not the yeah. end of the world. I do think they are balanced. I think that they're just balanced quarter inch. So you oh, just gotta okay. get the right okay. cables. Um, but you know, it does save on space within the actual, like when they were able to put the device together, like there's not really room for XLRs unless they removed something else. Yep, yep. So the other thing I think worth talking about is the different levels of how many mix effects you get. So with the this, entry level one, which to me is just the new better version of the television studio HD, you get one ME or one mix effects. Then here you can mm -hmm. get a two ME. And I actually think the price is, is pretty reasonable. I don't, I think what's this one, 1500 bucks. You might have to pull up those prices on B and H to confirm for me. Yeah. I think um, it's maybe 1600. Yeah. Yeah. So, so less than, less than, um, 10 grand, but you're getting two ME's and, and, for folks who are trying to understand, well, what's what's the point of a whole ME? Well, basically, you're going to have like two different program output capabilities from this switcher. Um, and here's here's a use case I get excited about this is now we actually should probably look into just doing this at South where you could just have all your cameras and all of your video sources like computers, ProPresenter, all that stuff going into your video switcher. And then you have one mix effect uh, the dedicated to your live stream, like what people see online. And then you have another mix effect uh, dedicated to your in, in the room projection screens. Um, so yep. you could have two different things going there. Most of the time you're gonna pro presenter going to those screens in the room. Um, but then, you know, sometimes you might wanna have that ability to throw uh, a camera up for, for eye magnification or something like that to throw a camera on the big screen. So. That's that's pretty cool, and it, it, this almost—I yeah. don't know if it completely eliminates the need for like a, a video hub or the convenience of having a smart video hub. I I still think those are still pretty relevant, but um, just the fact that I mean, I guess it almost would eliminate it if you can map. I probably need to dig dig some into this a little bit more, but if you can map like any of these inputs to any of these outputs. You know, you could really maybe not even have to have a, an extra video hub in your setting. DI, because you can independently route any SDI input to any or any internal source to each output. So you can you can run you could run your confidence monitor in and then out of this and use it as a video hub. Well, there you go. That answers our question we were talking about earlier. It's like you really do have that flexibility. So man, now it's very tempting. To be like, man, for you, for you could get the the ATEM the the two ME constellation yep. here, the second one, and I feel like you have how many inputs and outputs do you have with that one? You've got twenty inputs, twelve outputs. Yeah, I man, Plus I think that's gonna. Be, I think that's gonna be the one size fits all solution for most church settings because you're right. It's like every all of, it's like the the ultimate video hub and switcher in one. That's exciting. Yeah. So just to, just to re rehash that to make sure people understand, like any unique video signal going into these inputs can then be routed to any of these outputs. And then I'm guessing in the settings somewhere you you can then also select like your your program, um, your your two two MEs uh, as well. So to, to go yeah, to that or have like an aux output. Yeah. And yeah, and multi views. Sweet. There's so many yeah. times when people ask me, how do I how do I have, you know, our iMag on the screens and switch for that as well as how do I at the same time switch for our online? And so, yeah, before there weren't any great solutions and now there is. So this is pretty exciting. Yep. 
Yeah, and all the all at a really affordable price point. So that's what Black Magic is known for of trying to like, you know, how much quality can you maintain by keep, keeping that price low? And yeah, sometimes there are some issues with quality control. You gotta get ship ship your switch your broken switcher back to Black Magic to get serviced or whatever. But uh, they're also pretty good at that process as well. So I'm I'm really excited about this new line of switchers. If anybody is looking to upgrade from an A10 Mini, this looks like a great next step in my opinion, especially if you kind of go about the same process as we recommend in our advanced uh, live streaming course, which is the system that, again, it's a bit more robust. You're gonna have maybe three to five to six camera angles. Um, you know, So quite a bit of camera feeds coming in. You're gonna be sending out your display feeds from your ProPresenter workstation um, over a DeckLink Duo. Um, and, and then you want to also send a dedicated program feed to like an encoder, whether it's Boxcast or Resi. I think this is definitely going to be the best option for a video switcher in that context. For sure. Yeah, another exciting thing on this one is um, like each input featuring its, only, its own dedicated up and cross converter. So if you want to have your computer, you know, like a, not pro presenter, but like a Google Chrome or a keynote or whatever output going to your main screens. If you want to send that out at 60 frames a second or, you know, 30 frames a second, but you want cameras to be at 24 or you want some cameras at 24, some at 30. I mean, you know, that's possible now and you don't have to worry about keeping everything exactly the same frame rate. Yeah, that's awesome. And the the uh, man, because that's such a pain when you're like, you know, one of your devices, like sometimes a device won't even do the exact frame rate and then it just completely won't work with this ATEM switcher. Or you have to like switch the, you have to find like what's the common frame rate that's compatible with all these cameras and these monitors from a multi view yeah. and all that stuff. And that was such a pain. So that's, oh man, that's a really important pain point that they solved there. There's so much more this video switcher can do that goes even beyond what I think most churches will ever use it for. Like the DVE effects, like, you know, you're doing picture in picture and the fancy, fancy stuff for like news production. It's great to know that you have it. Um, but, but again, man, I just think the value you're getting, you used to almost have to pay this much just for like a video hub. Um, but now yeah. you're getting all that, that, that capability in one. So guys, just make sure you check out the worship ministry toolkit. Adam and I will be updating this with our latest recommendation, uh, for video gear for live streaming, which is definitely going to include, uh, these new switchers from black magic, but we have a ton of other great recommendations there as well. So link down below, check out the toolkit.